Hey guys, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. Let's get into this wig. It's a highlight wig and honestly, this is probably one of the best highlight wigs I've ever worn. I love, love, love the tone of blonde shades and the roots is nice and dark. Usually sometimes highlight wigs, the roots are a little brassy, but this one, I was here for the dark roots. So if you wanna see how I install this wig from start to finish, please continue to watch. Let's get into this wig. So the wig that I'm using in today's video, it's from OMG Her Hair. And this wig was sent to me. This is my first time using this hair company. Never used them before, but this is pretty much everything that comes in the box. You get a brush, elastic band to adjust the wig to fit your head size, edge brush, because I always need my edge brush for when I'm applying my wigs. Now I got some wig caps, but it's a little too dark for my skin tone, so I'm not here for it. Now this is the wig fresh out the box. It is super silky guys, like this is colored hair and when I say colored, I mean like it's bleach hair. And the hair texture felt so soft and silky. The knots are pretty bleach as you can see. So the knots look pretty good and it has a comb in the back. I like the big comb because it's perfect for the nape. I'm gonna cut off that extra lace because I don't need it, I'm not gonna use it for anything. And you guys know I like to cut the combs off the side because honestly they literally just poke me in the side of my head so I don't, really use these do you guys use these i never use them now i'm going to be doing my ball cap method and i'm using a stocking cap i personally prefer to use stocking instead of the wig cap because it's thinner especially when you're doing a she lace i like how thin the stocking is compared to the wig cap they do have very thin wig caps but i like this one because it matches my skin tone better as well I have a very detailed video on how I do my ball cap method. I will link that video down below if you have not seen it as yet, but I do use the Bold Hold Liquid Gold to apply it. Then I'm gonna go in with my scissors once it's all dry and cut away all that extra bit of wig cap that I don't need. I've actually gotten requests to do more hair videos without doing the ball cap method. And I mentioned to you before that the reason why I do it, it actually does protect my edges. I personally don't like just putting a wig cap because my edges are still out and then the glue can touch my edges and pull on them. So I do prefer to cover my edges with the by doing the ball cap method so no hair is exposed at the side and there's no glue touching my actual hair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this wig on my head and I'm just making some adjustments at the back. So I add the comb into the back of my head. You guys see I never show this step. So that's pretty much what the back looks like. Someone was curious to know what the back of the wigs look like when you apply it, asking if it's, you know, lifted at the back, but that's what the comb is for to keep it in place. Now as for this wig, it's about 20 inches in length and 150 density. I do think the wig is just a tad bit big for my head but it's a good thing it has the adjustment straps so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that and I did that part off camera so I'm just adjusting my wig once again just to see how it's looking and honey these edges on this wig looks great I do not have to do any tweezing whatsoever which is good so now I'm gonna cut away all that extra lace because we don't need it and you guys know I like to cut my lace in sections that way it's a lot easier for me to apply it I'm loving the hairline on this wig now it does go down a bit lower than where my actual hairline starts so I'm gonna take out some of the hair at the front just to get an idea of how much lace I'm gonna need to cut off just so it works for my forehead so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lace glue to my forehead and I'm using my very own lace glue that I will be launching very very soon I know I've mentioned this so many times but I promise you it is coming very soon so I did two layers and I go in with my blow dryer on the cool setting to dry down that uh, lace glue pretty quickly now i'm going to pull down that lace and honey it's already looking good but she's not even melted yet but it looks really good so i'm going to go in with the blow dryer and then i'm going to go ahead and cut away the extra lace now as you can see i'm cutting away a lot of the lace because like i said the hairline did go down a bit low on my forehead if your hairline doesn't go if your hairline goes on lower you don't need to do this but because mine goes up a bit more i need to do this so now i'm going to go ahead and add some more lace glue on the edges of the wig just to make sure it's nicely melted down and everything is secure so again I'm gonna do the same thing on the side I'm using my rat tail comb to apply the lace glue on the side as well 
and I like I said I like to do everything in small sections go in with my blow dryer on a cool setting and I did about two layers of glue so now we're gonna go ahead and pull that lace down melt it into the lace glue and you guys I'm so glad that I don't hi Tanea that's my oldest I'm so glad that I didn't have to actually tweeze this wig so now that the wig is on I'm not gonna do the other side on camera because I'm literally gonna be doing the same thing on the other side so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut some little tiny baby hairs you guys know how I feel about that and I'm gonna cut away all that extra lace as well and I'm using my eyebrow razor to cut away the extra lace I like it a little bit jaggedy so no straight lines because if you do a straight line the wig is just gonna look weird so you want to kind of cut it jaggedy and I just added some glue right by the ear tab because that's the part that usually lifts easy so I added two layers of glue once again and go in with my blow dryer and melt it down now for a nice and flawless melt I'm gonna go in with the Chia V melting spray and I apply it to the edges of the wig and I'm gonna go ahead and tie it down leave it on for about 10 minutes and voila she is melted down to perfection she looks amazing i didn't have to tweeze the hairline but it looks really really good i did my makeup off camera so yeah guys look how silky this hair is like i'm here for it let me know what you guys think and this is it and i hope you guys enjoy this video i just went in with my flat iron just to straighten a bit and i forgot to mention that i used my hot comb to flatten the wig i don't know what happened to that clip like i lost it somehow but yeah this is the completed look i really hope you guys Guys enjoy this very quick install let me know what you guys think of this video and i'll see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys and thank you for watching bye